Joe, Ollie, thanks for uh, allowing me to join a session down here in Niwot. Hey, what's uh, How you both doing and what's on the program today? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, we got two sets of 600, 400, 200 pretty fast yeah. and then a mile steady, pretty hard, like 430. You'll feel a bit tough after the speed. Uh -huh. But Ollie's just getting ready for the diving leagues and I was hoping to be in Europe doing like 5Ks but couldn't find any good ones and so I'm just getting ready for fifth half miles. So okay. it's a bit of a change of pace doing like mile training now for three weeks but I think <laughs> it'll help me in the long run. Yeah. I like it. Uh, you, you ran a pretty solid two mile at, uh, at pre and you said you felt pretty fresh after that so feeling good going into the fifth half mile? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I felt really good at pre. I mean, coming off of, I only raced one 10K in Tokyo. A lot of those guys were in both 5K and 10K so I think that they might have been a bit more tired. Yeah. But so yeah, coming off pre, I was like feeling really good and so I was hoping to get in some more longer races but it'll be fun to do fifth half. I mean, that's kind of a bucket list race, so. Yeah. Oli, how are you feeling after the Olympics and what do you got coming up? Uh, feeling good. I think uh, I was mentally uh, pretty tired. I think just experiencing that for the first time was definitely something that uh, you got to tick off the off the list. And mm -hmm. it was great experience and great to learn from. I definitely uh, um, I had a solid race at, at, at the Bama Mile. Um, I got a, I got a bit caught back behind um, and fell off the pace, which is something that I didn't want to do. But felt good after the race. Excited to race uh, a few more European races, and uh, yeah, looking forward to. The rest of the season, finishing it off well, and yeah. getting Joe into mile training is uh, something that we've been waiting for since he, since we started. So yeah, it's no, been fun. Been, he's been he's been in, in my league all year, and now, <laughs> now I'm in his league. So yeah, as Dathan would call this workout, it's a C plus workout. C plus workout. C plus workout. So okay. this will be this will be a good a good one. But I'm excited for it. And yeah, like it's good to hit the paces and just enjoy it. Yeah. A couple months ago, we do like four miles at the end, even like maybe five. Mm -hmm. But now it's just like. He's got to be fresh, you know, in three days, four days. Yeah. So we're just doing one mile just to keep a little strength at the end of the year. But with two weeks left in the season, you're not going to gain too much yeah, in that department. So, yeah. so we got two sets of 600, 400, 200, and then a mile. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Sweet. Cool. Yeah. What's, uh, what sort of shoes will you go with in this, sort of, in this yeah, workout? Yeah, so definitely we'll start in some spikes Random. right here. <laughs> These are pretty good for like. You know, it's more of like a mile spike, so they're pretty aggressive. Okay. And then for the mile, all of our tempo stuff. I mean, honestly, I wear this for just about everything. Uh -huh. But running like 126s, 56s, yeah, one to go. Uh, one to go, one to go. just a little too soft for it. Okay. Yeah, so like having a spike is definitely good. Yeah. But yeah, so. What are those two called, sorry? The spike and the flat? What was that? What are, the, what are they called? Uh, this is the Shinka. So this is like our prototype right now okay. um, that we're building off. Um, and then this is the Boom Echo. This is like our marathon shoe that just yeah. released. Just released. And we have a lot of, like, this shoe's great, and so we're hoping they can kind of implement some of this technology into the spikes that they're developing, and yep. so if they do that, they're going to be really good. Sweet. Nah, it's always good to double check. 126, that's... Been nice, but it's not too bad today. What uh, elevation are we at here? Uh, I think now I think we're at about like 5,100 uh -huh. feet. Um, so not not too high, like not like Flagstaff or anything like that. Yep. 
And I've been here for six years, so like this is kind of my new normal. So yeah, I don't really know what anything else feels like. Do you do any adjusting? I mean, obviously you live here now, but like, is there a massive difference between sea level and here for you? Do you think? Um, mainly just in workouts. So we went to Scottsdale this January, and we started doing. That was the first time I'd done a hard workout at sea level since high school, okay. and so it was pretty insane. Like the type of workouts we could hit down there, yep. and how fast you recovered. I mean, we were doing like, like say we do mile reps up here at like 435 off a minute rest down there. Like I think one day we worked down to like 420. Yeah, right. um, just off of like pretty like trying to do threshold effort. And so um, it's quite a big difference in the workouts, but easy running, long runs. I mean, I felt pretty tired on most of my long runs down there just because we were hitting the track so hard. Yep. But I definitely noticed it in the workouts and all I can probably say is <laughs> we're talking about Scottsdale. Oh yeah, yeah. Like how, it's like, funny because we don't, I feel like it's the same intensity, it's just the rest is less and you recovered better. Yep. But yeah. up here it's like we get we you get quality in fast too. It's just well, we had so, so we, much different. We were running 5k and we were in Scottsdale for six weeks, then we came back to Boulder, our last tune up workout before our 5k was up here, and we just felt terrible because yeah. we've been working out. <laughs> we expected like Dathan wrote the workout like going through the K, I think like maybe 231, yeah. 232, and it's like in Scottsdale, that was like easy, you know, and then yeah. we got up here and we were struggling. We got but, rinsed, I remember that. Yeah, but it was it was good. I mean, that was like right for probably I feel not like the you best. did that on purpose though, because you wanted us to feel shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he always we, wants to have something over you where you feel like, oh shit. And then he's like, yes, I can keep it. I can keep you on your toes. Yeah, but that, it, it was good, I guess, to like come up here and just struggle and realize that, yeah, <laughs> Scott's like, we're going to see levels a bit. Feel fake, I'm you fit know? again. You're like, oh yeah. shit, I just lost all my fitness. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Always fun starting to work like that. Open the lungs up a bit. Open the lungs up a bit. One twenty-five. Make sure you feel the altitude. Yeah. So much different to a four, but four feels way shorter. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. It's just a bit, a bit windy. Yeah, it's definitely cooler than it's been. Yeah, it's been hot here, man. It's finally starting to feel a bit like fall. Fall in Boulder. What does that look like? <laughs> Can't even think of that coming from the Midwest in college, where it was like dramatic change. I mean, you're a Minnesota boy, so you're probably like, there's no fall here. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not been here for a fall, Ollie? Or... Uh, you were here last fall. I was here last fall, but we were... It's nothing like the Midwest. Yeah, it was just different. Yeah. It's still like 80 degrees. Coming from Wisconsin, it was like, more like Australia. It didn't really change much, just yeah. the temperature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas Midwest, everything just goes, you know, red, yellow, yeah. orange. It looks sick. I did enjoy that. <laughs> the Midwest. Except for the winter, that was bloody terrible. The winter? No. Yeah. In Wisconsin, so bad. Minnesota's the same. It's just freezing. In Australia, it won't get lower than like, like five degrees Celsius. Yeah, what's that, 40? 40, 40, 40 something? Yeah. Then you get to- It's pretty rare to find that in Madison, Australia. It's like negative in Fahrenheit. You're like, holy <laughs> shit. How do you deal with this? Exactly. Uh, we take a little bit longer. 
I think you wanted three to four minutes after the six. So like 30 seconds. 30? 30 seconds, yeah. So there you go. Okay, let's keep it the same. Yeah. Six, nine, seven. good but not like not what we used to just like that kind of roll good Six. Go with this six, I'll take the four. Six hundred jog between the two sets. Yeah. Yeah. Two sets. How are you both feeling? Feeling good. I mean, when you start a workout that quick, your body goes into shock. So I think we're now we're starting to at least somewhat settle. Yeah. For the second set, but maybe, maybe Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be tough either way. Uh, try and hit the times, and I mean for us in particular, you know we're fit, so yeah. it's about staying relaxed and. Yep. No strain. Yeah, we did this workout a few weeks ago or something similar. Yeah. And we cut the 600s down to like, I think all was 121. Oof. I was like 123. Um, but Nathan just said with like the races coming up. Keep it control. We don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. A bit more conservative at the end of the year. Yeah, that was like pretty close after the Olympics. So we still had a few weeks. Okay. To get ready for pre. 121, Ollie, have you raced an 800 recently? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you going to uh, run? 144? Uh, it'd be nice to know. 43? I was talking to Pete. Yeah. Uh, Peter Ball about it. I remember with him in, in Tokyo and chatting. I want him to run a 15 with me and yeah. I'd run an 8 with him. Yeah. It would be the exchange, but <laughs> I mean, it'd be exciting to see if I could run the 8. We've got some amazing Australian 8 runners yeah. right now with Charlie and Pete and, and Jeff. Jeff going to his fourth Olympics. Yeah. So. Uh, it'd be fun to see what I could do. Yeah. Maybe yeah. next season. I tried to let Dathan before fifth half let me do a time trial because I tried to break 150. Yeah. And I'd be done. I'd never have to run it again. <laughs> but I think my PR right now is at the end of a distance race. So. Okay. <laughs>
up, boys. One twenty five zero. Yeah. One twenty five zero. Nice. Oh, that wind's a killer. Give me a chance behind you. Sounds good. I guess. <laughs> Can I try and hit this four and 56? 56? Yep. It's the goal. Okay. <laughs> it's, your mile, it's your mile race pace. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dathan's trying to humble us. <laughs> he likes doing that. <laughs> no, he'll do that in the fall. You good? Yeah. Who's you gonna be? Who's that gonna be, No wind. It was bad that time. Oh. Oh, you must Seven point. Okay. Whew. Yeah, it was definitely breezy. Yeah. That one. No point fighting it. Uh, Stay relaxed. You guys taking heart rate monitors at all? Or? Uh, not in this. In the fall a little bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. I can't get it out. You have a notoriously low heart rate. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the 160 is cooking. <laughs> What do you like, Ollie, with the heart rate? Heart rate's high. Yeah. My heart rate's high, but okay. um, I feel like racing is usually lower than usual, but his is. Him, actually, him, Jordy, and Carlos have pretty low heart rates. Yeah. Like, in the, I remember my watch in the night, and it'll say like 35, Damn. 36. Yeah, that's how you know the match. boys. <laughs> that's how you know he's fit. That's an altitude tent as well, so normally I notice when I go to sea level, it's even a bit lower. Damn. So. We should have finished into the wind, so we hit like a really fast 200, and then we could just like feel confident. Hold it, yeah. <laughs> All right, last little bit, then we got that mile. Your favorite part. <sighs> My favorite part. <laughs> Never get a coach that runs. You just sound so excited for the last yeah. mile. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Let's All right, go. let's get it.
here, but more than capable of hitting the ball today, I'll play. Running hard today, Ollie. You got lost, lost <laughs> fitness. <laughs> you lost fitness. <laughs> I'm like, From Saturday. yeah. Everyone always says, it's a great thing about the sport. One yeah. workout you can feel. You're up and down. Like, first of all, right toward the next workout. Yep. You're like, I need to think of another sport. <laughs> like golf or something. <laughs> Four, like 67 <laughs> seconds a lap. No, 68. So 4.30? 4.32, I think you said. I'm trying to get the first two laps. If I feel good, I'll take it all. Yeah. If I feel shit. If you feel shit, just tell me. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna feel, so I'm just gonna try and run. Run the pace. How much time do we have? We're good right now. Alright, let's get it. Yes sir. Good job. You good, Ollie? For 28. So pretty steady 67s. Yeah, I mean it was hard after that speed. Yeah. But like normally like if we show up to the track and do like five to seven by mile, yeah. we usually start about 440, okay. cut it down to 430. Yeah. So that pace should feel like pretty steady, but with all that lactic acid in the legs, it was definitely a bit tough. Yeah. Especially the last 800. Yeah. But more like tough on the breathing. Legs feel like they can just like kind of roll that pace, but uh, it was good to do, you know, for me, especially like I thrive off that, yeah. like my reps, where all these guys a bit more off like speed. Yeah. Like for me, normally I would do like one set of what I did today and then do more mile reps. Mm -hmm. But since there's no 5Ks or 3Ks left that I'm doing, yeah. it's good to, you know, train a bit more like 15 guy. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the miles coming up. Yeah. What's your long run looking like at the moment? Like at the moment, like 14 to 15. Miles. Uh, yeah, miles. Yeah. But, uh, We'll get up, you know, I do usually 20, like, oh, yeah. early season. Yeah. Um, most of the season, like, 18 to 20. Okay. 
but yeah, once we start racing and the emphasis is definitely, the strength comes from like the mile reps more yeah. than uh, the long runs. Cool. But Nathan still likes to have me do it because my legs usually feel really fresh today after long runs. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a good reset for my body. Yeah, sure. Where for some people like long runs wreck them and yeah. you know, they do like, they'll do a little bit shorter because that's harder on their body. Yeah. So. For this stuff today, speed, that's hard on my body. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so this is the marathon shoe we just came out with yeah. at ON. We had some prototypes right when the team formed. Yep. Um, and they were really good, the prototypes. Like, that's why I ran my 10K in last year. But then they came out with this, and it's definitely a much more, like, plush foam. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's, like, really good for, like, road 5K to road marathon. Okay. I think that they could stiffen it a little bit more for the marathon, but they have some prototypes. Like, they're working on it and hopefully this fall we get like some more iterations with like different foam densities, different stack heights and different uh, stiffnesses of the board. But like for the first rollout of this shoe, like we we're all super impressed with this and that just like, um, it makes us excited because like we've loved their training shoes since we joined, like I've always been able to train them, but like the performance shoe is what we need to race in and to see like their first rollout to market like be this successful, uh, it definitely makes us excited for like the spikes that they're coming out with and then the different iterations of this, like for when we're doing, you know, like if we're doing like a road mile, like I would wear this for a road mile right now, but I think they can tweak it to make like more of a road mile shoe. And I think that's what they're hoping to do. Yep. But yeah, for first rollout, like this is pretty good, like compared to what a lot of brands have. Yeah, sweet. You said there's more like in the pipeline too? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot more like um, hoping this fall. I know like with COVID it shut down a lot of factories and so yeah. that delayed things, but they're working like around the clock to like get this performance all this performance line out and okay. so yeah this fall is the hope yeah sweet dude well, for, for prototypes me. like i don't know how many will hit market or anything but yep. we should have a lot of stuff to experiment with yeah okay uh yeah thanks for letting me join in. What, what do you got coming up in the next few days for training yeah for training i haven't even looked oh, beyond by the way we have people that don't follow joe on strava he logs everything on there we we're just yeah, talking about that yeah yeah all my trainings on strava uh, yeah. i didn't look too much beyond today because once i found out we we're gonna like put this on youtube i kind of had to like really prepare for it because it's a hard <laughs> workout and i didn't, didn't want to fail today yeah um but yeah, just a lot of like mile training. I mean, I think that I wanted to be racing these like big races in Europe and stuff, but I have a lot of run left in my legs this year. And I think to end the season with like a lot of life left in my legs is really good. Yeah. Um, especially with World Cross Country, hopefully being like a goal of mine. And then, you know, it's only like nine, 10 months until the trials for Worlds next year in Eugene. So um, I think it's a good spot to end as much as like I want to be greedy and keep racing. Yeah, sure. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, there's winners and losers in life, <laughs> and Joe's the winner today. <laughs> no, I just, I felt pretty bad in the last mile, and breathing-wise, it's a bit shocking, but yeah. I raced in a couple of days in Brussels, and I didn't want to overdo it yeah. or strain myself, so I thought I'd let Joe finish it by himself. Yeah, he's, worse to, he's, he's used to 4.30s being easy. I mean, Nathan told me that the 4.30s was going to be really hard today. Yeah. I saw the 4.30, and I was like, oh, we're going to end in like 4.10, like yeah. with how, we're, how we've been training. But it was, Dathan was right, it was really hard. To it was very tough, yeah. but I mean, like, I'm pretty, like, one, well, workout doesn't define you, as people would know, so yeah. I'm pretty confident, Joe's pretty confident that uh, we're in a good, good place, and Joe's going to have fun preparing for a fifth half mile. I think he's been, been keen to do that for a while, and yeah. I'm keen to finish off the season well, so. You've held yeah. form for a long time this year. Yeah, it's been, it's like, been a long time. Wasn't I mean, it a 3.32 indoor in, was it February? Yeah, uh, yeah. January, maybe. January, February, yeah. and then, yeah, uh, yeah this 3.51 uh, last, last weekend, which, yeah. I think I could run a bit quicker, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all about just enjoying it, and uh, yeah. sometimes things don't go your way, and you just got to keep having fun with it. And luckily, being you know, a part of this group and training with Joe and and, and having Dayton as a coach, you, it's always fun, and there's always things to look on and improve on. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it's uh, it's good. You take some good training breaks though, like along the way, like Dayton. Yeah, was no, I had, was smart with it. Like yeah, I, I I didn't, I wasn't like full on all the time. Like I was a bit on. Like we take breaks and stuff. Same with Joe, like. Joe made sure he was ready for the trials, mm -hmm. um, which was the most important part of the season. Then leading up to the Olympics, so yeah, I mean we, we've been we've been uh, we've been very very lucky our first year. Yeah. So yeah. Um, to take away from what we've done just over a year has been incredible, and hopefully it can progress even further from there. Yeah. But Dave, yeah, I think Dathan's been really good at like, obviously like I've been going since December. I've always been going since like basically the same. And yeah. but I think that Dathan's good at like getting us ready for races, but also like if we have like like giving us like three weeks of like time to just train and so yeah. i think that's going to allow us to like it's allowed us to stay fresh this whole year i mean yeah. like for me i think my best race of the year was pre two mile yeah. and ollie definitely has the best race of his year coming up still with like how he's feeling and yeah. so 
Prix was like a bit of a down race for him and he still ran 351, which is like pretty insane. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're very lucky and we're, it's, it's exciting because, you know, we've been waiting to kind of get to that level yeah. from college and um, once we've gotten here, we're kind of in shock a little bit, but also just enjoying it. So, yeah, you know, cool. I didn't think we, we expected to do as well as we have the first year, but you know, take it, take it where it comes. And, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, I was watching Pre with with the head of sports marketing on Stevie Coker, and like I was telling him all these races I wanted to do, and he just told me not to get greedy. He's like, "You've done so well this year, don't get greedy with it." Yeah. And that kind of like resonated in my head. Like, you got to kind of like look at what you've done this year and realize how far you've come, and not just like, like you got to give yourself some time to like reflect and, and get better for next year versus yeah. just keep going, keep going. Because there's always races you can do. Like, there's yeah, a whole yeah. calendar in the fall, and like the competitive side of me wants to do them, but like Dathan and no, it's like what's what's right for the progression of our careers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Appreciate it, guys. Thank awesome you. Workout.